guys welcome back to my channel today I'm gonna to be creating this quick get ready with me video this is a look we're gonna be creating very spring inspired if you want to see how I created this look just keep on watching I did not create a makeup video last week I didn't post a video because you know life got in the way but I definitely promised to bring one in for you guys this week I'm gonna be riding bikes with Joey today, so I figured let me create a cute look because I'm gonna be taking pictures. You can tell my backdrop is different because I'm at his place. And that's one of the reasons I don't do makeup videos sometimes is because I don't have a studio at his place, so I have to customize my workspace at his spot. And sometimes it's a challenge, so that's why some weeks you guys don't get makeup videos, but I'm trying to work with my you know, surroundings so I can always bring you guys videos every week. So I'm just doing my eyebrows. I need to get them done. Clearly it is about the time that they need to get waxed. I'll thread in. What do you guys prefer, threading or waxing? I prefer to thread my eyebrows because they last longer it takes them time to grow out compared to waxing where I have to do my eyebrows every two to three weeks. But when I thread, it takes me close to two months without, you know, having hairs grow back. I'm just gonna make this one a little bit darker. I think it's more on the lighter side. I'm gonna go ahead and prep the eyelids with concealer. I'm gonna be using the MAC Mineralize. I always say Mineralize Skin Finish. The uh, Studio Finish Concealer. I don't know why I always say Mineralize Skin Finish. But I'm using this to set my eyes. I like to go at the bottom of my eye, low lashes, like this. I'm gonna try to keep this look as simple as possible. So let us see. I'm gonna be using my Morphe Natural Palette. That's what, that's what it's called. I always forget what this palette is called. Hmm. Oh my gosh, what's the name of this palette? I always use it. <laughs> oh, I can't find the name. I'll link it in the description. Oh my goodness, I am blanking right now. So I'm gonna start off by using a transition color. I'm gonna be using this. I'm gonna go in with a Pro Long Wear Concealer by MAC in the shade NC45 to just clean up the bottom of the lashes, the bottom of the eyebrows. I just put a little bit in the back of my hand. I'm gonna be using a angled brush to do the cleanup. So I like doing this because it gives the eyebrows a sharp edge. I like putting a little bit more concealer around this area. I want you guys to see the difference between this eyebrow and this one. You can tell why I, you know, use this step because it, it just defines them more and it makes your eyeshadows pop. So now I'm gonna go in with the transition color that I showed you guys. And I like using this palette because all the colors, most of the colors are very neutral. And so when I'm going for a very neutral look, I lean towards using this palette. Just blending. Next up, I'm gonna use this dark brown color. So today I'm gonna be shooting some outfit pictures. If you guys haven't checked out my blog, you should check it out. If those that don't know, 
that I have a blog. I do have a fashion blog. That was my first love before YouTube. So I will link my blog in the description so you guys can check it out and check out the looks that I'm going to be shooting today. I'm just putting concealer. Yes, this is the look I want. Yeah, this is doing it. This is doing it. We are having our engagement photo shoot. I'm so excited. We had originally scheduled it for May, March 26th, which was this week. What, last week? Because I'm posting this video every day. Well, I'm recording this video last week. It was on March 26th. Um, and we had to push it farther out because we wanted a cherry blossom theme. And this year they are blooming on the April 3rd all the way to April 6th. So our shoot is gonna be on April 8th. So we had to change the date for that reason. And I'm so excited. The photo shoot is gonna be very early in the morning at 6.30 a.m. Which is amazing because it's just unrealistic doing it on a week. It's gonna be on a Monday, so it's unrealistic doing it on a weekend in the morning because you know it's gonna be jam-packed. So that's why we went with Monday. I can't wait to show you guys all the details. All those pictures are gonna go on the wedding website. And I'm gonna be creating a section on my channel about wedding planning stuff. I will talk about everything from bridesmaids, gifts. I did actually record a video on that, but I haven't yet posted it because some of my bridesmaids haven't got their gifts their proposal gifts so I will be talking a whole bunch a lot about you know wedding planning and what I've been doing so far so yeah I'm excited about our photo shoot wedding planning can be so exhausting but it's it's a rewarding process I mean, you know, you know the end goal is just something special between you and your partner. So that in itself just makes it worth worth it. The stressful days, the stressful moments, it makes it worthwhile because you know it's it's gonna be all good at the very at the very end. So I don't have my mascara, but I have a little mascara that I always keep at his house. It is by Clinique. So I'm just gonna go use that as a backup. I'm so glad I have mascara here. Oh my goodness, I was gonna lose it. Oh, I was gonna lose my ish. This mascara is actually really good. It is the Clinique High Impact Mascara, Mascara Impact Optimal in the shade 01 Black. It is good. I love the brush and the consistency that it's giving. It's not lumpy like some mascaras are. So that is good. I'm gonna go ahead and apply lashes on. And I'm just gonna fast forward through this because you guys don't need to see me struggling putting them on because I always struggle. So I'm gonna put glue on them and let them dry out. And while they do that, I will go into applying mascara, not mascara, foundation. And I use Clinique foundation always in, it's a stay oil free matte foundation in the shade 29 Sienna. And I'm gonna be using a brush for this. Or maybe I should use a beauty blender. Hmm, decisions. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and use a brush just because I guess I wanna use a brush. I don't know if I wanna use a beauty blender. If you guys remember, I bleached my hair for Jamaica. 
and I was originally going for an ash gray look, but it didn't turn out as I wanted to. And in the process of doing that, I bleached my hair to the point where it was beyond bleach blonde. I mean, it was close to white blonde. I don't even know if that's a color, but it was so bleached. I mean, I was like, whoa. And then I come back home, I realize, you know what? Let me put in the color now. I didn't even end up putting the ash gray color when I was in Jamaica because my hair was just too processed and when I attempted to put in the product, it just started burning. So I said, you know what? I'm just gonna go to Jamaica with blonde hair. I come back home, I decide to, you know, put in the color, the ash gray color, and my hair turned purple. Why? I, I don't know. It just turned purple. I was like, oh no, this is not the look that I want. So I, I said, you know what, I'm just gonna go back to black and screw it, it is what it is. Well, my hair has been damaged ever since then. I was telling one of my girlfriends the other day that I used to cut my hair three times, well, once every three weeks, and now the last time I cut my hair was in December. It's been three months going to four. It worries me. So now I've been dip conditioning it a lot and just trying to revive it and get it back to being, you know, my natural hair. I'm gonna knock your camera over. Oh, this light makes me look like I'm glowing. You are glowing. <laughs> I had Joey come over here to hold my lash because I'm struggling. But that's for the left eye. Why are you struggling? so ratchet I need to get new lashes look at this <sighs> I don't know if you guys can see this but it's so bad I need to just get new lashes just make sure you don't drop that one I won't you know on YouTube people do boyfriend challenges where your boyfriend or your husband or your fiance does your makeup yeah. did you ever do one of those no why because I know there's no challenge to it. I'm gonna fail. That's the point. You're supposed to fail. That's the joy in it. Babe, hold on. Can you just keep holding that? You look like somebody that can do some powerful bras. Fill them in. <laughs> Seriously. You would do so good. Don't you think? No. Okay, so I got my lashes on and you guys got to finally meet Joey briefly. He's so camera shy. But now I'm gonna go, I already did foundation, you guys saw that. Now I'm gonna go ahead and highlight. And before I apply it, I'm gonna go ahead and wet my beauty blender. So I'm gonna do that and I'll be right back. Come on, sure. to come right around my the edge of my nose like this to just give it definition and down the bridge like this Ice cream van is passing by. <laughs> I'm gonna set the highlight with the translucent powder by NYX. This is the HD finishing powder definition powder. The last words are in French, and it's in the shade banana. I am going to contour and what do I use? The Fenty Beauty Matte Stick in the shade Espresso. 
splash. I always use a splash when I'm blending my contours. However, the brush that I love to use is this. It's like a big blending brush from Sephora. I got this from Sephora about a couple years back. I love this brush. It is everything when I contour. I just have more control with it. And I'm, I don't know, my contours are so more natural when I use it. So I'm just gonna blend, and every time I blend, I blend in a circular motion like this. I hope it's not looking too harsh on camera. Ooh. I'm gonna put a little bit product, literally just that. I'm gonna set everything with powder. I use the MAC Mineral Light Skin Finish Powder in the shade. What is the shade that I use? Dark Deepest. I always use Dark Deepest, but this shade is dark. The shade dark. Angela yeah, can't think right now. Mineral Light Skin Finish by MAC and the shade dark. That's the powder that I'm going to use to set this thing going on. Okay? I am going to set my contour with the ABH bronze powder powder bronze in the shade mahogany my camera battery is blinking it's about to be done so i need to quickly hurry up because i don't have another battery i'm gonna go ahead and apply blush i'm using raisin by mac that's raisin. And then to highlight, I'm going to be using the Iconic London Eliminator Drops. I had a major disaster with these last week when I was doing my, my makeup. So I'm just going to put a little bit like that. Literally that much. And then I'm going to use a beauty blender to blend. thing here using that color that I used for the outer corner with this angled brush to go underneath And then I'm going to go in with the transition color and just blend that out. For my lips, I'm going to be using a liquid liner. This is, what is this called? Tool. Tool by ColourPop. And I'm going to apply a pencil because it's too bright my lips and we are done I'm gonna set everything with the mock mineralized charged water chuckle water And this is a finished look guys thank you so much for watching I hope you like this video don't forget to like and comment on this video and I will see you in my next one Mwah. love you guys bye, bye.